Hey YouTube, it's John here. Hey, so I'm going to make a video that's uh, directed towards two audiences. And the first group is people who are living in an RV who come out to the uh, southwest. The second audience are people who uh, are interested in setting a better rat trap. So for the first group, the, uh, the full-time or part-time RV dwellers, I encourage you to carry with you a, uh, a couple of uh, rat traps, maybe even a few mouse traps. Because out here in the desert, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Because what will happen is you will show up at a piece of land somewhere and you will be the newest game in town. And the rats and mice will eventually come looking for you. And uh, out here at our land, we are super anal about how we handle food scraps and drop crumbs on the ground and stuff like that. And the funny thing is, or the ironic thing is, that it's not really that which the rats wind up uh, working on. Instead, they wind up working on the, uh, the wiring harness of your uh, rig. And uh, we didn't know that when we, uh, when we first started out. So my pickup truck and uh, Andrea's uh, Honda Civic got the uh, wiring harnesses eaten. So we are super anal about protecting our Toyota since it's also our homes. So like I said, I encourage you to set a couple of rat traps around your rig, uh, whether you're staying for a night or staying for uh, a couple of months. As I said, it's more a question of uh, when as opposed to if. So for the people who are interested in setting a better rat trap, let's, uh, let's talk about the design improvement that I made. These are standard Victor uh, uh, rat traps. They, uh, they work a hell of a lot better than, let's look at the, uh, the miserable thing I've got over here. You see this black plastic thing, this claw? That sucks. Don't do that. That was like $6 that I wasted. But these, uh, these wooden Victor jobs, these up here are probably two and a half years old. And during the course of setting them, I think I've probably caught 30 of the uh, Norwegian pack rats. Like I said, they're interested in eating our uh, wiring harnesses. So what I did was, you can see here on this one, I'm not going to touch it because it's got the phage, but that's pretty much the standard uh, the claw. And what will happen is, uh, typically the bait, if it doesn't catch something the first night, the bait's going to dry up and run the risk of uh, probably falling off. So what I do, or have done, is you can see on this one how it looks all uh, buggered up. I took some kite string and I made a, uh, a little loop and tied that around the base up here and then looped it, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 times, and then tied it off back on this end. And what that did was that built up that little foot there and gave me a, uh, uh, an area where I could spread the peanut butter and, uh, and not have to worry about it drying off and falling off, like I said. And peanut butter is the way to go. Uh, cheese is a, uh, a cartoon-based misnomer, so don't get involved in cheese. Cheese is no good. But the peanut butter, like I said, I'll smear some peanut butter on that little area there and uh, set it and uh, I'll throw them out there. If I, uh, if I catch any rats, I'll, uh, I'll post an update. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. Otherwise, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, talk to you later. Shelko 4 out. Thanks, bye.